What's up, Scorpio? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to do your weekly spread of messages uh, beginning September 23rd, 2024. Libra, I'm sorry, I just did Libra Scorpio Opal as well. This week I'm using, I believe, one of, uh, again, Cyril Marchetti's deck. And I believe this is the Tarot of Dreams. I'm not really sure, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, we're just going to uh, cleanse the deck and shuffle it up real good from the messages from Dawn Libra spread. And I'm going to throw some cards here from the uh, teacup deck, which is just messages. If they're useful, then, you know, um, so be it. If not, don't worry about it. All right. So messages for Team Scorpio this week was coming up for Scorpio. And I already know that, you know, <clears throat> with um, this is not a P. Diddy reading, <laughs> but, you know, P. Diddy is been you know arrested detained bail has been denied twice now someone just told me this morning that he was on a suicide watch i don't know so if the messages um you know come out you know i may talk about that a little bit but this is not as i reiterate again it is not something for all scorpios please keep that in mind because i don't like to be attacked because I'm exercising my freedom of speech and what I want to say during these readings. All right. But, you know, if I say something is not meant in a negative sense and it's, you know, towards, you know, what's going on with P. Diddy, um, then I'll bring that information out uh, if necessary. If not, don't worry about it. Okay. The other messages may not apply to you. All right, that's a good enough shuffle. Let's see what's going on here for Scorpio this week. All right. We have the Ace of Wands. All right, so there's an aspect of some sort of good news coming in here. There's also the um, prospect of you initializing something. Now, that could be a new relationship. That could be... A new job it could be anything you know involving your um, creative pursuits or interests like a hobby but also the ace of wands which is rapid energy comes in very very fast something may occur this week that puts a smile on your face all right and there's always a touch of surprise with the ace of wands then we have the strength card so strength is needed this week uh, for some of you of course you know P Diddy <laughs> needs all the strength that he can get so feeling strong courageous any obstacles or challenges that you are facing, you will overcome them. This is a card that represents uh, extreme intensity, passion, and may be in a form of expressing yourself in a sexual manner. All right. Then we have the lovers. Okay. The lovers is about commitment. It's about uh, anything that's going on for you this week, uh, Scorpio. Uh, I always, you know, refer to the lovers as an even playing field. Um, definitely seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page with one another. This is involving business partnerships, platonic friendships, romantic partnerships, and also things going on in the family. Um, <clears throat> so the lovers has the tendency to unite all of those things that I had just mentioned. Okay. So really there shouldn't be any problems in, uh, any types of intimacy, uh, with anyone this week, whether it's your, you know, family, co-workers, romantic partners, business partners, and so forth. Then we have, oh, three of swords. All right, there we go. Three of swords. Third party in play, separation, grief, heartache, divorce. Now, this three of swords is not going to be for everyone, but it could be, um, again, the type of energy that I'm um, feeling that, you know, um, you know, Sean Puffy Combs could be experienced this week. You know what I mean? Um, three painful decisions, choices, um, third party in play when it comes to romance, um, uh, could still be in, you know, involving pet loss. The family is left grieving following the lovers. That may be something, um, relative to someone in terms of a divorce. Now it may not be like a, you know, a, traditional marriage, but there's parting of the ways here. So that could be, okay. Um, for instance, if I was just going to say a parting of the ways, it could be business 
partnerships, separating, severing ties. Now, taking terms of P. Diddy and, you know, what he's being faced with, he's losing a lot. A lot of businesses are cutting ties with him. So that could be a reading just for him when I'm seeing this combination here. OK, now there still could be a pending divorce, divorce, separation and uh, traditional marriage, couples that are still together, but there's distance that separates them. OK, um, but whatever the three of swords may mean for you, um, again, it's not going to be for everybody. It is here. OK, it is present. These cards never show up here unless it is meant for someone to see. <clears throat> On top of that three of swords here, now we have the emperor. Okay, so there we go. The emperor is boss mode, of positions of authority. See, the separation of being a boss or a leader. That is P. Diddy again, the takedown, all right? Um, by itself, it's still powerful in terms of you having to maintain uh, control of yourself and not in the form of manipulating. Just remember, I'm come. I'm giving you a message here because I'm, you know, these two are together. And oftentimes I like to read cards that are, you know, paired or whatever, or follow however I choose to do it in terms of, you know, connecting messages. This is the takedown specifically for him. Okay. He was a, a leader, a boss position of authority. He had power. Then there's the whole aspect of courts, you know, having to deal with courts, um, it could be, you know, other Scorpios having to deal with some sort of court situations. Um, but I still will feel that the majority of you will be uh, in control. OK, and maintaining self-control, not in the form of trying to control others or be manipulative. The character here I always sense could be a father figure uh, attached to Scorpio, who is now over in spirit. But they may have um, during their physical life here served some sort of time in the military, may have worked in the court system. Um, yeah, that would be the Emperor Major Arcana. Three of Swords, the takedown of a very powerful person. <clears throat> then we have the Three of Cups. So there is uh, something to be happy about. This may be... Um, yeah, birthday celebrations, anniversaries, getting together with family members, friends, romantic partners, could be co-workers after work. For a happy hour, there is a need to celebrate, to be happy and joyous. Following the Three of Cups, now we have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is uh, working hard for those coins. Um, Scorpio, you may have other options that may open up for you. Could be saving up for something greater. Okay, this still could be in the form of, I forgot to mention, this could be a promotion still, regardless of the takedown that I see with the Three of Swords, but I feel that is an exclusive reading or a message for um, P. Diddy. Takedown of an emperor, boss, authoritative figure. This here it could be a pay raise, all right, for someone else. Then we have the Ace of Swords, two aces in a reading and mirrors over here to the first ace, the Ace of Wands is a very auspicious energy, but this is usually um, regarding victory and success, having to clarify something, communicating, clearing up any confusions, uncertainties or doubts centered around a situation, person or event. This also could be uh, seeking some sort of form of excitement or adventure in another area. First actions and first moves as well. Up next now we have the Emperance. The Emperance comes through. This is a major arcana. All right, so then you've got some very powerful major arcanas here working, you know, towards you energetically this week. So this is a card that represents beauty for me. Um, so yeah, pregnancy news could be around you, childbirth, um, something new, developing, growing, or expanding. Uh, also is the energy that I feel could be happening around some Scorpios this week, feeling at peace, loving yourself, loving others, loving, you know, um, taking care of yourself when it comes to your own health, possibly exercising more could be going to, uh, uh, you know, hairdresser appointments, makeovers, pedicures, manicures, whatever. Okay. 
spending some time outdoors, enjoying Mother Nature and God's beauty. Okay, very powerful. On top of that, we have the uh, Major Arcana. Well, it's not on top. That's the Temperance by itself. But then this is the Temperance Major Arcana. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. You got five Major Arcanas. One, two, three, four, five. Major Arcanas here. Pay attention to the Major Arcanas this week. This is very powerful energy here. So the Temperance comes in to rebalance things for you peace of mind, restore some sort of imbalance that you may have experienced in the recent past. She's just like the empress here. When I regard, uh, you know, some of you may be just spending some time outdoors enjoying Mother Nature and God's beauty. This also, re you know, represents relationships of all kinds as well. So you have some very powerful major arcanas working, t you know, for you this week. Queen of Pentacles here. This is the... Um, Promotion, again, the job offer, the contract offer, the boss in the workplace environment, the creditors, money being, um, you know, available, resources and money being available. So it could be a business startup. It could be um, that you view the queen of pentacles as your money stabilizing, feeling grounded. Now, this is a court card, so it could be the attributes of this card here, Scorpio, and this is how others may view you or see you as a person, that you're, you know, someone who is always good uh, in terms of helping out and doesn't always have to relate to, you know, giving out money or helping out with money, but they're there. You're dependable. You're reliable. Okay. Willing to share <clears throat> Whatever it is that you have accumulated with others, not selfish or stingy. Following the Queen of Pentacles here, now we have the Four of Swords. This card indicates rest, relaxation, rejuvenation, taking your mind off of something specific, reclaiming, detaching really your energies from your work, your, your relationships, whatever it is that you need to do to do for yourself to make you uh, reclaim your independence and your happiness. Some of you may be planning trips if we don't get a movement card here. Um, but resting your mind, having to rest your mind from things building up that could lead to something greater that you don't want to deal with later on. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles, or no, the Six of Pentacles that was upside down. Okay, I'm not reading reversals. Again, the money is looking strong here. This is a card that comes in of, you know, representing gift and charity. So you could be, you know, receiving a gift. You could be giving someone a gift. Again, you could be like the Seven of Pentacles uh, and the Queen of uh, Pentacles receiving a pay raise. All right. There could be an apology that is forthcoming to uh, some Scorpios if there was some sort of misstep or mishap with individuals, um, you know, recently. All right. On top of the Six of Pentacles here, now we have the Death card. This is your own energy, Scorpio. So, you know um, what this Death card means. It just simply means that something's coming to an end. All right, something's coming to an end. Something has to be put to an end, close up. Then once you are identifying whatever it is that comes to an end, then something new is just definitely going to replace it. Never ever physically denotes death. So it's about some sort of major life transformation. All right, the last card I have for you, Scorpio, is the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is... Uh, trying to sort out some internal energies, external energies, conflicting energies. Could be that you um, possess something that you have that someone else is envious of, or you have to be careful this week also, too, that you know no one is playing with your mind or playing head games with you, because that is the energy of the Five of Swords. If it does express itself this week, it's just temporary, So, but it may be uh, connected to any of the messages here where you have to sort some energy out, figure something out. Okay. And that may be all that it is. All right. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Um, interesting spread here. Pay attention again, once again, to the major arcanas and, um, yeah, because we have the three of swords as well as the four of swords and ace of swords, I have to go 
and the Five of Swords that we have to go back here to the Empress when it comes to childbirth. If it's not you, maybe somebody that you know who's up for delivering or having a child, they could go under a cesarean section. Because the uh, Four of Swords specifically mirrors over here to that Three of, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the Empress, which is a Three. All right, so these are just messages here for you. If they relate to you, so be it. If they don't, don't worry about it. And again, it's from the teacup deck. All right, first message for you is a home record breaking up a happy family, having affairs, doesn't respect no boundaries. I will associate that with the um, Three of Swords. Okay, Three of Swords energy. Next up is soul contract. You are under a soul contract with someone. Twin flame, soulmate, karmic. All right. We have the lovers in the spread. We have temperance. We have the empress. So someone could be under a soul contract. Lust is the next one up. This situation involves lust, passion, sexuality, physical attraction to you or someone. Hmm. Earth sign. So this situation involves an earth sign. Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. One more card here to finish you out. Clingy. Somebody that cannot let you go. All right. So this is what I have for you this week. Um, Scorpio, just remember. Always remember it's just me interpreting these messages how I see fit. Um, and what the potential energy could express. Uh, for you this week. Take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. However, I would appreciate you liking the video, sharing the video, subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, come back and get more of these messages from me. You guys have a safe, great week ahead, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.